Today, your brand's reputation is everything. Your customer's perception of your business and your brand is vital to the long-term success of your business. Hi, my friend, it's Mohammed here, and today I wanna to talk to you about seven mistakes that you could be making unknowingly that is hurting your business's brand and reputation. So, first mistake is making unsubstantiated claims. And what do I mean by that? Basically, it's making false promises or claims that your product or service can do X, Y, and Z, or that it can solve this kind of problem, or it has these kind of features. So don't make unsubstantiated claims and fake promises because your customers will find out when they, when they start using your product or service and it can't do what you said it can be done, well, hey, you'll get caught out. Number two, ignoring negative feedback. In business, negative feedback will always occur. For every 10 positive reviews that you get, you're bound to get one or two negative reviews. So what do you do about those negative reviews? Reach out to those customers that left those negative reviews and find out from them what was the problem and how can you help them solve that problem. It's important because again, if you do that, your customers will feel appreciated that you've reached out, you've listened to the problem that they had and you've now looked at ways to help solve that problem. Negative reviews also helps you in your business because you could see where you are slipping up and where you need to improve on. So it's important that you constantly look at the reviews that you are getting um, and especially the negative reviews because you can go out and make uh, turn those into positive experiences for both your customers and then improve the reputation of your business. The third mistake is being rude to your customer. And now that's just a cardinal sin. You, you just cannot be rude to your customers. You can't be rude to anyone for that matter. Your, uh, uh, if you are rude to your customers, they're gonna tell their friends and obviously word of mouth, it just expand, uh, grows and grows. So uh, being rude to your customers, treating them badly, um, uh, you know, not returning their phone calls uh, to some degree could be considered bad. Those things obviously hurt your business reputation. So be friendly, be nice to your customers. They're important, they're bringing money to your business. So ensure that you are treating them uh, well. Point number four, the fourth mistake that you could be making is mistreating your employees. Um, and what's even worse than just mistreating your employees, it's mistreating them in front of your customers, right? Uh, your employees are important and critical to your business. And if a customer sees you treating them bad, then obviously what is their perception gonna be of you as that business leader? Um, on the flip side as well, employees that get mistreated or are disgruntled, they could take your business to fair trade, uh, fair work, they could uh, lodge you know, legal proceedings against your business for mistreatment and so forth. So you know, it's important that you treat your employees well. Um, they are important to your business and obviously the reputation of your business as well. Mistake number five is prioritizing quantity over quality. And that is basically trying to make a quick buck or a quick sale and not focusing on the quality or the service that you are delivering to your customer. Um, it's critical that you deliver great service. It's, it's of utmost important, especially in the world that we're currently living and how competitive it is out there in the marketplace. If you are just chasing a quick buck and the quick sale and you're delivering poor quality services, um, your customers are not gonna come back. You're gonna lose those customers. So you're gonna lose repeat business there. Um, so uh, thinking short term, quick sale versus thinking long term, building a relationship with that customer, delivering, delivering quality service, building a brand and reputation and not making the mistake of destroying that brand uh, and reputation. The sixth mistake, and that is posting fake reviews. 
Um, the trouble with that is the uh, review platforms, um, the social platforms out there have algorithms today that are able to detect fake reviews. If you go in and log in um, using a particular account, they will track that and they can tell that that's um, a fake review. What's worse is if your customers find out that you are posting up fake reviews or fake testimonials, well, what's that gonna mean for your reputation and your, uh, your branding? It's, it's not gonna look really good. So it's critical and important that you don't post up fake reviews. If you are struggling to get reviews and testimonials for your business, well, what can you do? Try and make it easy for your customers to leave a review or to give you a testimonial. Uh, I worked with a client and we developed a, a series of questions, a questionnaire that he was then able to send out to his customers that made it easy for them to leave a testimonial. It was a series of questions and based on the way that you answer it allows us to turn that questionnaire into a testimonial and a review. So don't post up fake reviews. If you can't get them, try and make it easy for your customers to do so. Or go out and speak to your customers and get feedback from them. You might find um, you know, certain things or, or certain problems within the delivery of your service and products that you can improve and then hopefully get a uh, positive review from there. And then very lastly, mistake number seven, that is misusing social media, especially for your business, right? Your business uh, pages, your business social media accounts is for business purposes. It's not for you to post up anything controversial, anything that's politically driven, any sensitive um, you know, uh, themes out there in the world. Keep those maybe for your personal social media profiles. On your business profile, on your business pages, uh, post things that are, are relevant and deliver value to your customers. Uh, don't be using it for, for the wrong things. Uh, and then also, don't just post things for the sake of posting things up. If you don't have value to, uh, to deliver, then rather stay away. Don't post anything until you have something of value uh, to deliver because posting up a, uh, a poor quality or, 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 or just a random post that has nothing to do with the branding of your business and that's related to your business could actually be hurting your business more than um, just trying to, be, uh, uh, trying to be up to date with posting on social media. So my friend, there are seven mistakes that I hope you will be avoiding um, that can damage the reputation in your business. Rather, focus on adding value and building a long-term relationship and a long-term brand for your business.